everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Magical Jill and this is Cosmo. Cosmo say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> so me and Cosmo are here today because we wanted to talk about the Furidescent Monster High collection that came out. And today I'm going to be opening up Claudine Wolf. So I'm really, really excited because this is so cute looking from the pictures. I'm really hoping that the doll lives up to my hopes and dreams and expectations, if that makes sense. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe and tell me in the comments down below which Furidescent doll is your favorite. So I pulled it out of the packaging and I'm pretty sure you open up this part first. Ooh, what's in here? Hey, it's the doll! Wow, we actually have a doll in here. That's shocking. And then on this part, it says stay positive which is really cute. I love the little art on the inside. I feel like this is a cute little like miniature play locker thing uh, for kids if they wanted to like pretend like this was the locker for their dolls and that they made like a big school in their room or something. I don't know. I think it's cute. Cosmo. Cosmo, do you like the doll? Cosmo. Look, he gave her a kiss. Luna, do you like the doll? He gave, she gave her a kiss. These dolls obviously have bendy limbs, which is kind of like a staple for Monster High and something that I absolutely love because something um, that I've always been a little bit disappointed with on things like Barbie is some of the most beautiful dolls don't have bendable limbs, which makes me very sad. This is one of the prettiest Claudine dolls that has come out for G3, in my opinion, recently. She has little holes on the top part of her ears that I think you're gonna be able to shove earrings into. So I'm kind of thinking that they might've given earrings in this thing. So I haven't actually looked online to see exactly what comes with all of these dolls because I actually wanted to be surprised, especially in the videos where I open these up. So first of all, this doll in real life looks gorgeous. I love her. I really love the cute freckles and the sparkly lips. I actually feel like she looks uh, closer to original Claudine style. She definitely still looks very young and not as adult as the original Claudine did, but I do think that she looks definitely fabulous and adorable and no longer has that weird outfit from the original doll that I really didn't like. I never actually even made a video about it because I just really didn't like it that I didn't even want to buy the doll, so... <laughs> I've always felt like purple is definitely Claudine's color, so I'm really excited to open up all of this, you know, see what kind of purple clothes we might have. I do know that she's probably gonna come with this cute little headband that's got the moons on it from this picture, and I'm really excited for that because I thought it looked so adorable. So it comes with this cute little silver key. It actually is really adorable, and it doesn't look super cheap, but it definitely feels kind of like cheap plastic, and it's like weirdly tiny, a tiny bit sticky. Um, I don't know why it's a tiny bit sticky. Maybe it's because of the weird paint that they use, but it is like actually metallic, so I think it's cute. Okay, so we're gonna open up this top one right here. And let's see what's inside. I really like mystery things like this, especially when it's like, you know you're guaranteed to get something. I don't really buy mystery things unless I'm guaranteed to get something I know I'll like. So with this, I guaranteed got the doll that I knew I liked. Or like, I don't know, let's say Pokemon cards. If there's like a card you see on the top of the box that you guaranteed know you like, then I, I will buy it sort of thing. I don't really like just gambling full on and not knowing if what I'll get is something I'll even like at all. Okay, so this came with, I think like a little, um, I don't know what you'd call this. It's like that thing that goes around your shoulders that they used to wear in old tiny days. A shawl. My husband says it's a shawl because he knows everything. No, I don't. Yes, you do. It's got cute little moons on it and it's got an animal print on the inside. I actually like the animal print stuff that they've been doing because it's kind of like a callback to the original Claudine with her animal print top. And I really like that. I think it's super cute and I really like the little callbacks to the original. I did want to mention before we move on, I actually really like her base outfit. I really like these high-waisted holographic shorts and these cute little constellations on her shirt. She's definitely very moon themed because werewolves obviously turn in the moon sort of thing. And I think that's actually a really cool play on her style that they do in a lot of her outfits. I really like all of the moons that they've been doing. 
They also gave this adorable Twilight-esque galaxy shirt that's got a picture of a werewolf on it. It definitely reminds me of some of the merch we would see back when Twilight came out and everybody loved Jacob and they had to get the werewolf merch. I feel like this is definitely like a Team Jacob shirt. And then last we have this skirt thing. Um, I definitely have to see it on. It's not my favorite. It's certainly something. Um, it's got like a yellow thing that, down the middle that doesn't really match anything that we've gotten so far. And it does not match this top at all, like at all in the slightest. So I don't know if this outfit is necessarily supposed to go with each other. Cause it's kind of like three random items that I feel like don't necessarily go with each other. But they did kind of advertise this doll as like a mix and match sort of thing. So I'm hoping that's what they were going for instead of put this outfit together. Cause this is ugly together in my opinion. <laughs> it also came with yet another key. Something that I think is interesting is the keys are exactly the same. So I'm pretty sure if I just use this key, it would unlock the second one too. But maybe they're giving kids multiple keys because they know that kids will lose them. But we're gonna try the first key again on the second one here just to see if it actually opens or not. It does. It does open. It, so this will probably open all of them, I bet. Yeah, it does. So I don't know why they give like extra keys, but I think that's kind of funny. We should go try those in safety deposit boxes in the bank. Yeah, definitely. Just kind of see if anybody's got anything good. It seems like it works in anything. I'm sure the simplest key of all time will definitely unlock things, yeah. That's how they hide it, right in plain sight. <laughs> so we've got another little mystery packet in here. I really like the cute little mystery packaging. It's got question marks and a little heart with a moon and scratches on it. It's definitely werewolfy. I think it's super cute and I love the rainbows. I've always been a sucker for rainbows. Another key has come in this packet. So a third key, everybody. I'm pretty sure there's a trend going on here. This is like weirdly oh, stuck to the bottom. Um, Bubby, I think that an earring fell over there. Can you see it for me? dropped over here. Is that? I don't see one. You don't? Know, I'm pretty sure something fell over there because this was like weirdly glued to the seam of this. So the plastic of this was stuck in the seam of the bags. So when I tried to pull it out, the earrings went flying because they weren't secured in any sort of bag, I don't think. And I almost lost them, but we, we have recovered them. I'm really excited to see what these earrings look like. However, I gotta be honest, I have never been a big fan of these weird half hoop earrings especially on the dolls that have ears on the top of their head like this because it kind of just looks like Mickey Mouse to me. I've never been a big fan of it, but we'll see what it looks like on her. So not only do I not really like um, the fluffiness of these weird earrings, but they look bad on her. I don't like them at all. I think they look stupid. I really hope that we get some better earrings in this. Otherwise, I'm gonna be kind of disappointed because these earrings are really ugly. I really don't like them at all. They look like weird little halos of, I don't know, purple poop around her ears. <laughs> they were also really hard to shove in the little holes on her ears. Like they didn't make the holes big enough for some reason. Yeah, they yeah. look like Fruit Loops, don't they? Yeah, and they look like if you stuck them straight up, they'd be Mickey ears. Yeah, let's stick them straight up so you can see. Straight up, they look better because they look like cat ears from the front. Oh, I guess so. But I guess they do look better like that, but it's still kind of ugly. Yeah, they're not They're not great. They are not good earrings. I don't know. Is there like a specific way they're sh she's supposed to be wearing them? Because all of the ways I'm looking at her are horrible. Does it show one on the picture? Let's see. It shows her wearing them like, I think kind of like this-ish. Still not cute. Why does she look like a little kid? Oh, I thought she was really cute, but she does kind of look kiddish, doesn't she? I like her makeup a lot and I love her hair and like this outfit specifically, I feel like looks really adult and cute and fashionable, but her face looks like... Her face looks five years younger than they want her. I, I don't than know. They sh than she should be. She looks like 10. Does I that make sense? Like I 10? I guess I don't understand why they decided to de-age every Monster High character in terms of appearance. I don't know, because a lot of the other Monster High characters don't look nearly as young as Claudine. No. It's really weird how how really young she looks. Mm -hmm. Though I still like her. It's just, it makes me sad that they took my favorite character from the original and 
I don't know, made her... They were styled as adult women in the original. Yeah. They just were. And I understand... And she also acted like an adult woman. That's why I looked up to her. Yeah, I guess they wanted them to all be more kid-friendly. Because they removed a lot of the sexualized elements from the original, I Mm -hmm. guess. But I also don't really understand what was wrong with the original. I don't really understand what was wrong with the original either. I think that their faces could at least look still... A little more adult instead of really childish like this. What, I do think she's still cute though. Do Dracula you? and Frankie look great they look, still, they, and they they, they, they still don't... look like their faces from the original, in my opinion, just like slightly different. She, I like her face. Her face is really cute, but her original face, it was this vibe of like mature and sexy, like they're adult women who. You know, they happen to be at Monster High, but they're all monsters. They all age differently than normal mm-hmm. people. And they pretty much were all adults. They were just young adults. And now I feel like some of these characters, like her in particular, she, she looks, looks like m- a middle school student instead of a high school student. She looks like Howleen. Yeah, she does look like Howleen. Yeah, like younger. She doesn't look like Claudine. And I guess to me it's frustrating because I think the designs of Draculaura and Frankie are still pretty perfect. I actually like the new Laguna design. Not more than the original, but I like it. Mm-hmm. I just think that the new... Claudine, I do still like her, but she doesn't have many of the elements of the old one. I like this Spiridescent because she's a little more fierce. Mm-hmm. But I don't... Like she used to be. I don't like that they've kind of turned her into a little bit of a scrawny nerd. And Yeah, she looks like a scrawny nerd, kind of, in a lot of things. And that's why I was excited to get this, because I thought in the pictures, she didn't look like a scrawny nerd. Look how, like, sultry her face looks. And then look at... An elegant really and adult. I mean, maybe if you switch her outfit and stuff... But I just think that the artist did a much better job conveying Claudine the way that I would prefer her Mm -hmm. than the actual doll sculpt and face does. Yeah, I think it's really the makeup's problem. I I feel like they didn't do the makeup adulty enough. I actually follow the artist who made that. I like the artist. Who does these designs. Yeah. Really, really good artist. Really good. That artist always makes the dolls look amazing. They should have the artist do the faces for real. And if they did the, I guess I would say the cartoon in that style, I would love it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like Monster High elements of it are still aimed enough at G1 fans. It's like they're playing both sides. Mm-hmm. They want G1 fans because they're doing Draculaura and Frankie pretty much the same, mm-hmm. but just Frankie with I guess Draculaura with some magic. Mm-hmm. They want new fans because they've done things like change Frankie's pronouns. They've paired Frankie up with Cleo in a relationship, but then they ignore the old fans who wanted Draculaura and Claudine together. But then they embrace the old fans by being like, you wanted two of the girls together, so let's put these two together. But then it's not the ones everyone wanted. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It just kind of seems to me like G3 plays both sides of the fandom, but it doesn't really play to the strengths of either of them. And a lot of uh, original G1 fans actually liked Deuce and Cleo being together. Yeah, and now Deuce is with... Claudine in a lot of things, it's especially weird. live action. And they nobody, did that. Nobody likes emo Deuce Cole Sprouse. Weird. It's not uh, Cole Sprouse, is it? I, I think it, I don't know if it actually is. It looks like him. It looks but like Spol Kraus. It definitely looks like Jughead made his way into Monster High. I really like the way this hat headband looks on her head. She looks really cute. I feel like it's really adorable and makes more of the purple hair highlights stand out. I think it's really cute. And I think feel like it kind of gives it like a little bit of a different hairstyle in a way. Like some of her bangs are a little bit more down. And you could also like, I don't know, kind of push this down if you wanted and have it be on her forehead more or like more on top of her head. I don't know. I think it's really cute and versatile. I really like it. Here is the next package. Uh, What is this? This isn't like an accessory, is it? If it's a keychain, it's kind of interesting looking. I mean, I know it's supposed to be the skull with the bow, but wouldn't you put like the keychain piece up here so it would hang like that instead of like hanging like this? They gave us this cute little translucent key. This is different from all of the other ones. I don't know why it's not silver like all the other ones, but I think it's cute. It's my favorite key so far. This cute little shoe has like the full moon and then two crescent moons next to it. It's really cute. It's kind of like a moon cycle. I love these shoes so much. I think they're better 
than these original shoes, actually. I think they're super cute. I'm really excited for her to wear them. I forgot to mention this earlier, but I got this cute little choker that says Howl on it. And I think it's super cute. I actually didn't notice it when it came out of the packet, but I think it came out of the one of the first or second packets. This is what it looks like on. I think it's really cute. I love it. It's adorable. Okay, we're gonna open the final one. Boop. Yay! This bag is a little bit, I feel like a little smaller. I'm not sure what it has in it. So the last package came with this cute little purse that's got um, these rings on it that I thought were made for self-defense for when you want to punch people. Um, so I don't know why they included that. It's certainly interesting, but I'm glad that she can defend herself. It's also got an adorable little wolf on it, which I think is really cute, and there's constellations printed on it. I like this little purse, but it's not exactly easy to get her to hold it because her hand is big and the handle is tiny. They also, for some reason, included a tiny little toothbrush instead of a hairbrush for the doll. I don't know why, considering kids love to brush their doll's hair. They included an ice cream cone that's in the shape of a cat, which I actually think is really cute. And I got no clue what the heck this thing is. It looks like a little sucker, like that you'd put your lips on for the Kylie Jenner challenge. I know that they showed exactly what it was online, but like- What you saying on the box? On the box, it made it seem like it was gonna be more stuff. Does that make sense? Seems like there's a lot of random crap in this. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of random crap in this, but it looked like there was supposed to be like more and it kind of left you feeling like there was more left to be desired, if that makes sense. I just don't see what the point was of the surprises. I don't know. Like that weird keychain crappy thing and that weird lid or something. This, this was a waste of a slot. This was a waste of a slot, this toothbrush. This lid was a waste of a slot. And these ugly earrings were a waste of a slot. So let's see, that's one, two, three, four things where you could have given us another skirt, another like pair of pants, and another two shirts. But you should be grateful that Mattel was willing to make the doll for you, the consumer. You should be grateful that the faceless company gave you anything. That's a rant for another day. Even though you paid them. Before we go, I wanted to mention my doll has a weird chunk of plastic taken out of her ear up the top here. I'm pretty sure that's a factory mistake and it is a little annoying to me because something that I enjoy about actually being able to see the dolls through the plastic is picking which one doesn't have factory defects so I can own the ones that don't have problems. And when they're stupid mystery things, you can't do that. So uh, she very well could have like the most messed up makeup of all time and it would have been a waste of money for me. But at least it's only a tiny little chip out of her ear, but it still makes me mad. I do like that after you're done playing with your doll, you can just pack it real up real nice in this little organizer thing and call it a day. But I know for a fact, children are not going to do this. They are not clean. <laughs> but I think it's sweet and cute that it's kind of like this little play case coffin. You could bring it with you if you wanted. I do think this thing should have a handle on the top or something so you could carry it around like a little purse so kids could play with it on the go if they wanted to. Uh, but other than that, I really like this toy. I think it's fun. I feel like the surprises were... Um, the Trash. Not trash. The, the surprises were bad, Jill. It's the clothes that were good. The one shirt was good, the purse was good, and the shoes were good. And I liked the headband and the choker, and that's about it. That's all that I liked. And so I guess what I'm trying to say is it kind of felt like one of those gimmicky things where, like, LOL, OMG will always say, Hey, this doll comes with a bunch of surprises! And that's kind of like why kids want to buy them, because it's like, Ooh, what do I get? I love surprises! And to be fair, I know they show a lot of this stuff like online of what exactly you're going to get in the case, but they also do advertise it as a mystery surprise thing. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I feel like for the amount of money you pay for this, you should be getting better quality stuff. I bought a fashion closet of a similar size for Barbie and it came with so many clothes. And sure, maybe the clothes weren't like 
you know, super top tier collector's edition, but there was a bunch of fun little outfits that I could do. There was like five shirts, like a few pairs of pants, a few skirts, a couple of dresses, and a bunch of accessories. And it was a very similar size to this, maybe a little bit bigger, and it was about the same price. And I could show it to you guys, like, in, in the pictures here, too. And I thought that toy was awesome, and I guess that kind of makes me disappointed that Mattel has shown time and time again that they can make really amazing toys that are really fun and creative and sometimes they just kind of drop the ball on things like Monster High. And even though I like this, I would not give it a 10 out of 10, that's definitely for sure. And I feel like there's a lot of wasted slots in the surprises. On the back of the box, it actually says that you can make 125 plus looks. I don't know if they mean the same exact look over and over again, but I actually don't think there's that many varied looks you could make with these things. Maybe if you like wore one outfit without the choker and then you wore the same exact outfit with the choker, maybe they're counting that as like a different look. Uh, but I kind of feel like that's a big lie. I, I feel like that's just a marketing gimmick and they are lying to us yet again so uh yeah mattel lying to us shocker right i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really loved opening up this doll i have uh, so much fun opening up dolls and talking about them with you guys because i'm a big fan of just playing with dolls in general i'm glad that you guys really liked this video hopefully and hopefully you guys will subscribe and i also have this awesome website called enchantedglamour.com if you want to go check that out where i make handmade jewelry and handmade resin products which are super unique and super awesome so i'll see you guys in the next video bye